One of the most complex corruption transactions is money laundering. Um, those that are engaging in are very smart, that they, um, you know, are smart. One of, some of these authorities and associates of the civil society and media that have to take up this responsibility because one thing that they will do once they plunder public wealth and then onto all the drug dealings and the like, they launder the money and they clean it in some businesses. This timber deal, the rebels are using this money as a sources of funding. How did you come to that conclusion? In the investigation, there is a secret video. Mm -hmm. And in this secret video, the transporters, mm -hmm. or those that are dealing in this business, didn't mention that they are working with the rebels. Mm -hmm. And the rebels are the ones that are protecting this business. And this is of um, hit interest and benefit for them because this is where they get their support to buy arms and the like in order to fight for what they have been fighting for. One aspect that every Gambian is asking himself is the National Development Plan. You remember people were gathered along the streets when they came all the way from Europe, jubilating, has burning on the Gambia. Uh, many people were even saying simplistically that is why not share that money directly to somebody that make people rich? Okay, so years after, where is the national development plan? Yeah, and then there is one quote that I will never forget from the president mm -hmm. during his talk, saying, "We have mobilized a lot of money from Brussels. When the money come here, the goods, the ships, the hands, all will feel that there's money in the Gambia." <laughs>